तो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक विद अनदर वीडियो ऑफ सेल्स फोर्स गिग चैनल दिस इज शुभम भारद्वाज एंड टुडे आई एम कमिंग अप विद अ वीडियो रिगार्डिंग द न्यू अपडेट्स ऑफ सेल्स फोर्स फ्लोज सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वी आर गोइंग टू कंपेयर आवर ओल्डर ऑर्ग एंड आवर न्यू ऑर्ग सो बेसिकली न्यू ऑर्ग इज अ प्री रिलीज ऑर्ग यू कैन आल्सो चेक इट आउट द लिंक इज गिवन बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स टू साइन अप फॉर अ प्री रिलीज ऑर्ग सो लेट मी शेयर यू व्हाट आर द न्यू चेंजेस दैट यू यू विल सी इन द न्यू ऑर्ग Uh, and basically in the upcoming days uh, for winter 21 so without any delay let's start and first of all create new flow in both of the orgs and and let's create a new screen flow in both of the orgs as you see uh, this is also a new update which shows you how do you want to start building uh, in free from free form and auto layout so basically this is also a new update i'm going to cover this in Uh, other points so let's create a free from for now and as you see uh, i have now both of the flows uh, in my beginning state so if i the very first update come come for the update elements and delete record element so basically in both of the elements now we have the filter criteria like uh, more filter criteria i can say and or and specific filter criteria or you can say customize custom logic like suppose there are two condition which are concatenated with and and then both those both those conditions are concatenated with or so this is kind of custom logic so let's uh, drag and drop the update element over there and if you see if i provide any value to label and click on specify condition to identify record and set field individually and let me Choose any object over there. Let's say account. So here you will see conditions are met. In the older or you will see only one option, which is update all account records and no condition. But if I came to the new or and update the and drag and drop the same element, which is update element, and click on specify conditions to identify records and set fields individually. and select the same object as i earlier select account so here you will see uh, now we have four conditions which is none update all account and or and are custom condition logic so this is the very first update you will came came to see uh, in the update and delete element so it is same for the delete element so i am not going to share uh, the delete one so our first point is covered for the new update of uh, summer 21 now the second update we are going to cover is uh, before delete flows yeah now you have the ability to delete flows now you have the ability to fire triggers uh, in the scenario of delete so it is before delete so let me share you uh, what are the new changes you will see as you see uh, if i create a, another new flow in both of the orgs uh, newer and older so in the if i click on record triggered flow in the older org and click create and same for the new one and let's again choose free form and in the older one if you click on edit you will see there are only three conditions a record is created a record is updated a record is created or updated okay so but now if uh, i click on edit in the uh, new org you will see here are four option a record is created a record is updated a record is created or updated and a record is deleted a record is deleted is new and only work on the before the record is deleted so this is the second update you will came to see uh, in your new orgs which is wait winter 21 update uh, for sales force flows the third third update you came to see is simple as you already uh, check out uh, the auto layout and auto layout and free form so basically what is auto layout if you click on this auto layout beta uh, check box or you can say uh, toggle so if you you have you don't have a you can see on the left side you don't have any uh, elements uh, provided over there as as in the older or you will see because these are the elements you will have on the left side of your flow builder but now in the auto layout form you don't have any because you can uh, choose any of the elements from auto layout uh, criteria or i can say auto layout way so i personally like this way 
uh, I don't know what's uh, what's your opinion about this. So if uh, you like this or don't like this feature, uh, do let me know in the comment box. And yeah, I personally like this feature. So this is the about this is the so this is about the auto layout in free form. It is just in free form we have to drag and drop the uh, elements of Salesforce flows. But now in uh, uh, auto layout the free form or you can say we can get rid of free form the layout become automatically created for ourselves we don't have to waste time to just to manage uh, flow elements to this to, to there and there so that's the great thing i came to know about winter 21 salesforce flows now the another update which i came to know is simple uh, fire trigger on the basis of filter criteria now what is this let me tell you suppose as you see here uh, if i click on edit and let me share any uh, flow let's say a record is updated and click on done now what i have let's say i choose account over there now you will see there are also filter criteria over there like you have you can also filter records on the same uh, record trigger like when you select a particular object over there you can also filter the records on the same uh, I can say on the same start menu so this is also a good update you can say you can get rid of get uh, where you use an element which is get record like, let me share you in the older or this feature is not there so if I select object over there and let's say account so now there is no condition to filter out the records so here you have to select only all accounts basically so this is also a good feature for salesforce triggers uh, in salesforce flows so this is also a good kind of update and the next update uh, we are going to see is uh, basically debug flows on the basis of particular user suppose uh, you are having certain kind of conditions where you want to check the uh, output of your salesforce flow with some another user or test out your flow on the uh, another user suppose there are administrators always there but now suppose you want to check your flow on the basis of a standard user or any other user so now you can test out your flow uh, with the uh, in the debug mode uh, you can change the user so for that what you have to do you have to simply uh, let's uh, choose any flow over there uh, let's say create related contact one and this is in the new org and basically I will let you know in my let's choose any other flow in the older org So as you see, if I click on debug in the newer org and if I click on uh, debug in my older org, I will let you know the difference between them. So now you, you will see an another checkbox which is run flow as another user. So currently this is not activated for that what we have to do, we have to enable a setting for that and I will let you know what is the setting and in the older org you will see there is no option to run a flow on the basis of any user and all so let's enable the setting for uh, the newer one and you can also click on the uh, hover or your i button this option is disabled uh, in your org process automation setting so basically what you have to do you have to move into your uh, org and here type in the setup automation and click on process automation settings and if you scroll it down and simply if you click on this checkbox let admin debug flows as other users and save this now you can change user on the uh, add debug mode in your salesforce flows and let me uh, refresh this screen and as you see now i can select this option too and you will see there are users over there 
uh, you basically it's kind of a lookup and I can select any user which is uh, available in my org and click run so this is the new update uh, basically and the another update which I am going to share with you guys uh, basically improved UI for uh, basically assignments of fields and all things like as you see uh, as I transferring account ID uh, from my screen so as you see AA so basically it's an icon which shows a text field over there so this is improved UI I can say it's kind of a good and if I move back into the older org and let you know Currently, uh, in earlier days, uh, we will have this kind of uh, UI, but now it is improved through this. So I feel uh, this is really good and uh, it is, does not impact any changes, but yeah, look wise, it's good. So these are the new update guys. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video and you find this video help. And that's all for today's video. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more such videos. Uh, in the upcoming days, I will uh, come up with a video of before delete scenario of the winter 21 update. So stay tuned for that and don't forget to subscribe this channel because you got a lot of good videos over there. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. If you're watching this video till end.